became her shock, though. She is a very funny lady, one of the funniest women down here at Comedy Works. She's been on A&E, MTV, she's even written for Comedy Central. Give it up for Nora Lynch, everyone! <laughs> I get 
um, I'm a little bit agitated. I get anxious. I'm um, I'm uh, bipolar. That's not like a stripper who doesn't know who she wants to have sex with. <laughs> My problem is different. I have a mood disorder. I'm a manic depressive. Now I'm fine. It did take a while to get the meds just right. Uh, the first thing we tried was lithium, which did not work. I just got side effects. I lost hair, and I gained weight. And I told my doctor at the time, I said, look, I'm no psychiatrist, but if I am fat and bald, I'm not going to be freaking happy about it, you know? <laughs> How about we open up that big book and find something else for mommy? How about that? I use mommy just as a figure of speech because I don't have any children. All that I know about. Uh. <laughs> you laugh, but 1993 is very blurry. My dad. Maury Poe, they're just going to make me take a maternity test. <laughs> uh. We wanted kids, my husband and I. We wanted children, it just didn't work out, which is fine. I'm, I'm really, I'm okay with that now. We don't have kids, but we do have money. And, uh, <laughs> they're expensive. They're really, God, the minute they pop out, they need gear and equipment, you know? You can't even take a baby home without a car seat these days. We didn't have car seats. We rolled around in the back like marbles. Nobody cared. <laughs> That's why people had so many kids back then. It was just in case you lost one along the way. <laughs> you know, I don't even remember her name. Just keep driving. Let's go. <laughs> but now, man, you protect your children. They're so precious. <laughs> helmet laws. You really have to have a helmet. Come on, let's be honest. We've all met kids that really don't need a helmet. <laughs> reverse helmet law. <laughs> Johnny, we've seen your test scores. We're not going to waste a helmet. <laughs> <sighs> now I'm too old to have children. I'm not technically too old. I still have eggs. I know, because every now and again I can feel one drop. <laughs> Holy crap, is that an egg or a gobstopper? Oh, ow, ow. <laughs> I think the old ones have sharp edges, and that's to remind you not to use them. Because your eggs have an expiration date, and mine are way past. If I get pregnant with one of these, I give birth to like a grapefruit or something. And I'm Catholic, so I would keep it. In the fruit bowl, but I would keep it. I would get a little helmet and everything. <laughs> I'm very good care for my little grapefruit. <laughs> I grew up in the olden days. It was so different when I grew up. You know, no car seats, no helmets. No, no, we didn't. You know what? We were also ignored. <laughs> that's how my parents raised me. Get out of here. And that's what we did. We got out of there. It was fine. We're all fine. I don't know why. But now today, kids need a parade. Okay. <laughs> Your six-year-old has a social schedule. That's not right. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm bored. You know why you're bored? Because you're boring. That's why. <laughs> Figure that out. <laughs> I mean, I grew up a long time ago. I grew up in a day where families on a Sunday, you know what we used to do? We used to go for a drive. That's right. Remember going for a drive? What do you want to do? Let's go for a drive. We're gonna drive around and look at shit out the window. <laughs> now pack up Daddy's cooler full of beer and let's get going. <laughs> I'm not defending it, but I'm just saying, back in the day, you could drink a drug. Everybody did. Now, my dad got pulled over for drunk driving in like 1970 and the cop said to him, Mr. Lynch, you are entirely too drunk to drive. We'd better follow you home. <laughs> I call that protect and serve, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> then those moms got mad and messed it up for everybody. <laughs> Maybe if you had more kids, that one wouldn't have been so special. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> I'm in this period of what I call perimenopause. That's the period before actual menopause where your hormones just go ape shit all over again. Yeah, it's exactly like puberty, except with absolutely nothing to look forward to. <laughs> I get pimples again. Now they're next to wrinkles. Oh, that's nice. I need Clearasil with Retin-A. Do they make that? <laughs> and let me tell you, nothing makes you feel pretty like a lady whisker. That's nice. <laughs> Here's the best part about that. I can't see it anymore. <laughs> here until I find it. Whoa, what the? Oh. Wish some young person had pointed that out to me. So I go to Vegas next week. I like Vegas. I'm glad it's for grown-ups again. You know, they're promoted. For a long time, they promoted it as a family vacation spot, which I just thought was weird. Yeah, bring the kids. We'll call a hooker to babysit. I guess she tells a pretty good bedtime story. 